let's try with the graph. Again, I recommend starting with the y-intercept. On a graph, you have a line going to the right that represents the x numbers, and a line going up that represents the y numbers. The diagonal line is the equation that is being graphed and what we are trying to find information about. Remember, the y-intercept is the y number when x equals 0. On a graph, we have to find where the 0 is on the number line, right here. Now we have to move upwards without moving left or right so that we stay at x equals 0 to find the y number on the diagonal line. So I'm going to go up until I hit the diagonal number. It's right here. That number is 1. So our y-intercept is 1. We can also write this as 0, comma, 1. Slope is a little trickier. Remember, slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. To find slope on a graph, you have to pick two points on the diagonal line. And then, let's start by looking. Okay, so I found a point. To find the x and y values, you have to draw a line down to the x. So I'm going to draw a dashed line to show. Dashed means the, li the line is invisible, but we still need to see it. The dashed line. So the x value is 1. So this point, x equals 1. Now if we draw, to find the y, we draw a line to the left. Draw a dashed line y equals 4. Let's do that for another point. Draw a line down. x equals 2. Draw a line to the left. y equals 7. This x equals 1, y equals 4 can also be written as 1 comma 4. And this x equals 2, y equals 7 can be written as 2 comma 7. Now to find slope, you always start with the bigger x number point. So that would be the 2 comma 7. So we'll start with those. We will do 7 minus 4, which is our y's, divided by 2 minus 1. 7 minus 4 is 3 divided by 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So our slope is 3. Again, similar to the table, we have to take the bigger y value and subtract from the smaller y value, and the bigger x value, subtract from the smaller x value. But, also like the table, you can choose any two points. So let's find this point. Four, so x equals four. Y equals thirteen. So let's do the slope up here. We have the point four, comma thirteen, and the point uh let's just start use this one because we already have the answer. 2 comma 7. So we're always going to start with the bigger x value. So we're going to, sorry, bigger x value is 4. So we're going to do 13 minus 7 divided by 4 minus 2. 13 minus 7 is 6 divided by 4 minus 2 is 2. So you get 3. Again, you find the slope to be 3. Nice! We've now looked at a table, a graph, and an equation. Now all we have to do is compare them. So, in this problem you can tell we have a table and a graph. I think that a table is easier than a graph, so I want to start with the table. Again, I recommend starting by finding the y-intercept. Remember, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So, in the table, let's find the spot where x equals 0. <laughs> right here. Now, this time, we have a different-looking table. This time, the x's are on the left and the y's are on the right. All the x's on the left are 
connected to their Y's on the right, but not diagonal. Left and right, left and right. So we found where X equals 0. The Y that goes with it is the one to the right of it. So the Y intercept is 4. You can also write that point as 0, comma, 4. The slope is a little trickier. Remember, slope is a change in Y divided by the change in X. We need two X and Y numbers for this. So we'll pick the X equals 1 and Y equals 5 x equals 1, y equals 5, and then x equals 2, and y equals 6. x equals 2, y equals 6. We always start with the bigger x value and subtract it from the smaller x value. So, we're going to have 6 minus 5 divided by 2 minus 1. 6 minus 5 is 1, divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. The answer is 1. So our slope is 1. We also discovered that you can pick any two points to find the slope. I'm not going to show you. You can look back earlier in the video. But let's move on to the graph. Again, I recommend starting with the y-intercept. In a graph, you have the line going to the right, which represents the x's, and a line going up, which represents the y's. They intersect at their zero points. Now, we have to find the y-intercept, and that's where x equals 0. And we have to move up so that we do not move left or right, so that we stay at x equals 0. Let's move up until we get to the line. So we move up 1, 2, 3. We're at the line. So our y-intercept is 3, which can be written as a point 0, comma, 3. Now our slope is a little trickier. Remember, slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. To find slope on a graph, you have to pick two points on the diagonal line. To find the x and y numbers based on a point, you look at the point, so we'll pick this one, then you draw a straight line down, we're going to make it dashed because it's invisible, and you get the point 1. So you have one point is x equals 1, draw a line to the left, Invisible, y equals 5. Let's do that with the next point. Draw a line down. x equals 2. Draw a line to the left. y equals 7. Now let's do our subtraction, starting with the bigger x. 7 minus 5 divided by 2 minus 1. 7 minus 5 is 2, divided by 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 divided by 1 is 2. So our slope is 2. So we found that the y-intercept of the table is 4, the slope of the table is 1, the y-intercept of the graph is 3, and the slope of the graph is 2. We could find the slope of the graph with different points as well. You can go back earlier in the video to see how that's done. But we finished our comparison problem. Congratulations! We finished today's lesson. Feel free to go back and try the problems again. Happy practicing!